Hello, my name is Brian Flanagan. I'm the technology teacher at both Crothers and Peck. And today I'm going to get a little googly with you. I'm going to show you how to get into your Google Drive, your Google Mail, and your Google Classroom. All pretty important while we're working from home. And this should help you out with your lessons with the teachers, kids. So let's first thing I ask you to do is open up a tab up here, click in the search bar. I'm going to pretend that's not there. And I'm going to type in clps.org. That's our web address. Hit enter. It'll bring up our home page. And pop up usually comes up uh, with the most important things going on. We're going to hit OK and get rid of that. Now, in the past, I've told my kids to use Google, the staff tools right here. You don't need to use staff tools anymore. If you certainly want to, you can. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, most of my kids know how to do that. Uh, but the resource tab right here put on, they put this uh, student web applications. Oh, it's so easy to use now. So I'm going to click that. When I click that, it gives me a few options. Now, you can pick up Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Classroom all from the same place. So we're going to just choose one of those. And here's your ST Math, by the way. I have to show you that. I think that's pretty cool that it's on there, too. I'm going to go through our Google Drive. I kind of think that's the heart of Google. So let's try our Google Drive. Now it's loading up the sign-in page. The thing I want to point out to you, in the past, when we use the staff tools, it has at clps.org. That's for the, the teachers. Here, they have it hooked up so it's ready for the students at go to clps.org. That's really nice. So all you have to do is type in your username, which is the first four letters of your, your last name, the first four letters of your first name, and your birth year. So if I was born in 2009, I just put 09. Put that in there and then hit next. I'm going to put our fake person in here. We have a fake account here for uh, training purposes. I'm going to put that in and hit next. And now you're going to put your passcode. Remember, boys and girls, your passcode, the first letter, of it's your initials, by the way. Your first name initial has to be capitalized. So hold that shift key down. Make a capital letter and then type the rest of it with no caps. Hit next. Now I ask for our Google Drive, so that's where it's going to open me up at, is in our Google Drive. If you did the classroom, it'll take you right to classroom. But I really dig this because, like I said, you can kind of play with this. Um, and all of your schoolwork is right in here, so that's kind of nice. And again, you can hear some new over here. These are all the different uh, things that we use. So, But we're going to go over here to our apps. Really important area, these che this checkerboard. Sometimes people, that's what they call it, the checkerboard. Click the Google Apps. Here is Google Drive again, our mail and classroom. Also, you can move this up and down. There's a lot of different things down here. As you can see, the YouTube there, uh, Google owns YouTube, so uh, they have the, you, the kids get their uh, a YouTube account. It's not for making videos. It's for uh, like educational videos that we might send to them. And they would load up in there as well. So we're going to go to Google Classroom because that's where most of your work will be found at. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of uh, Google Classrooms set up in here. Yours would just be with just your teacher and the specials teachers. So you're going to click uh, whichever one you want to go to. Don't forget to hit the special teachers. We have assignments in there too. Um, so click that and all your assignments will start coming up into that your classroom. Also, let's just before we, we exit to uh, Google -y, uh, time here, let's go to our mail. I want to show what the mail looks like. Because this is kind of nice because if you need to email your teacher something, uh, this is where you would go. Go to compose. And then just type in who you're emailing. I'm going to type it like I'm type, sending it to me. So I'm going to type Flanagan. B at clps.org so there you go type that in there type in the subject uh help maybe that's what you need to you know, help with some technology or with your studies i'm just gonna put technology help and then maybe a little bit more specific on what you're looking for i'm not going to waste your time though so i'm going to put a question mark there and then just kind of tell who it is that way they're not confused on who's using this and who they're emailing back uh, it's kind of helpful and then, of course, just hit send at the bottom. And it's covered up by this uh, screen testify, so I'm not going to go down there because that kind of uh, takes it away. Um, if there's any questions, please feel free to email me. And thank you very, very much for your time today. Get Google.